It's a beautiful elephant. An enormous elephant bull that the drone commander has found. And he's staying a long way away from it, not because he thinks that there's any danger, but, of course, if the elephant becomes angry at the noise of the drone, then, well, then it's not nice for the elephant. And then the next time it sees a vehicle or a person on foot, then it will be upset. And so, in order to stop animals becoming angry or mad, we stay away from them and we're very careful that we don't make them feel uncomfortable, because that is what makes an animal mad or angry. Very seldom is an animal just dangerous or just cross for no reason. Almost always it's because they feel afraid. And you know, you'll find that in your own lives. Here's a little life lesson for you. If you find people that are angry, other than your parents, of course, because sometimes you're very naughty, I know you are, I used to be very naughty too, and that's different. But when you have friends who are sometimes mad or angry, remember that sometimes it's because they are scared, they're afraid of something. And that's exactly why animals get angry. Now, this is a big bull elephant. He's a male, and he's got big tusks, and with those tusks he will protect himself, and also he will dig in the trees that he's walking past for the bark. And you can see him pushing through the bush there. Isn't that a lovely picture? He's just looking for nice things to eat. Let's see if he pushes that bush over there. And Cheyenne, while we watch to see if this chap pushes that tree over, you want to know if just the females have got, uh, if the females have got tusks or if it's just the males. Cheyenne, it is both male and female elephants, but the females normally have thinner, straighter tusks. <gasps> the water, quickly, quickly, can we go to the, to, to Ronald? Ronald, there's the water monitor. <laughs> Can you see him there, everybody? Oh, I'm sorry we didn't spot him. That was spotted by Fergus, who's the cameraman. He spotted. Let's just see if we can't get a bit closer. There's quite a lot of mud here. Oh, it's such, such exciting stuff going on here. <gasps> He's stuck now. Let's go back across here. Come on, Ronald. I know there's a lot of mud. Oh, get going. There's the monitor. There, there, there. There he is. Look. The monitor is now very, very suspicious. Suspicious means he thinks, what is this thing? What is this small tank that is following me through the mud? And you know why Ronald can't get any closer? It's because an elephant, same as the one you've just seen, put his footprint there. That's how big that footprint is. Oh, look, he's coming closer. Let's see what he does. He's sticking his tongue out to see if he can taste what Ronald is, or why he's there, or what he wants. And Jaden, you want to know what water monitors eat? Well, as Byron told you earlier on, Jaden, water monitors will eat all sorts of things. They will eat basically any piece of meat that they can catch. So they'll eat, uh, sometimes they'll eat eggs, they'll eat snakes, they'll eat other lizards, they'll eat small birds if they can catch them, they'll eat fish, they'll eat, what else, will they eat? insects, when they're very little they'll eat insects. Let's just go back a bit and see if we can't see him. Again, there you can see him moving. <laughs> there we go. Now what we want to do with Ronald, everybody, is very important. Just like I was saying with the drone, with which Connor was being very careful about, we don't want to make the animals afraid. There's no danger from that lizard for Ronald. There's no possibility of the lizard hurting Ronald. But what we don't want is for that lizard to be afraid. Even though he's a lizard, and many people, of course, we think, when we think of lizards, we don't think of animals that have feelings. But you know, all animals have feelings, to some, or to a greater or lesser extent. So we'll just try and put Ronald behind some bushes, so that he's not quite so scary to this lizard. Ooh, no, he's stuck there. Let's try another way around. We've just got to be a bit careful here, because Ronald is not waterproof. Yeah. <gasps> <Ooh>. <laughs> 
Emily, you want to know how long they can stay underwater? I think you'll find a reptile like this is probably able to stay underwater for about five minutes. So they can stay underwater quite a long time. We're just going to have to go a little bit closer to the water. There, that's about as close as we're going to get without getting young Ronald wet. And if I get Ronald wet, Connor, who's flying the drone, he also has to look after Ronald. He'll get very cross with me. Anyway, that's the best picture that Ronald's going to get of his very new friend, Melvin, the monitor. Isn't that a good name? I think it's a good name. Do we still have the elephant, or has the elephant gone away now? He is, no, no, I, I said, do we still have the elephant? Is the elephant still around? No elephant, okay. Anyway, that's Ronald. There you can see now the monitor, Melvin, is moving off and he's hunting for nice things to eat. And things that you and I wouldn't find very nice, of course. But there it is. I think that is a very special, special sighting. So we've seen two nice lizards. We saw the skink hiding there in the tent. And then we had this beautiful monitor lizard over there.